next question comes to us from James from Missouri, and he wants to have an explanation about arms control in the body. Well, first of all, let's just talk about that from a developmental cycle. I have a new granddaughter. What's really interesting for me is now that I've been through what I've been through in the physiology side of it and understand and development and how we develop tactile in from, from hands, fingers, and toes, and she's laying there and she can't move anything but that, and now she kind of finds her hands and, and then all of a sudden she's now she's trying to reach for something and she can't quite get to it, so all of a sudden her body goes, oh, here's how we can get over there. So you're wired from out to in. Now there are some ideas and even a lot of science that talks about what's going on in your core or in the, the uh, paraspinal muscles and the multifidi in the center of your body to stabilize when you're, when you're a baby and what's happening. However, this whole thing of how she, to watch how she's learning and how she's learning to move. So when you talk about arms control the body, if, if I were to stand here, and I'm not playing golf, so if I was holding the package, if I was holding the package and you said, and there was a table right here, and you said, take the package and put it on the table. Oh, okay, you see what happened here? My body rotated, my shoulders moved. See, I, I don't think I'd ever see anybody, take this package over there where your hips would slide or this would go and this wouldn't move. You just take your arms and you put it here. Nicholas said that on the backswing, all he tried to do is he knew where he wanted his arms. He wanted his arms right here. So he'd stand up over the ball and he'd take his arms up there and he'd let his body do whatever it had to do to assist and let him do that. And then he said on the downswing, once he got up here, what he would do is he would take the club, and which the club, and he'd run the club into the back of the ball, which is his arms taking the club back, then he just follow it through. So it comes back to the same thing. If I stand here and I say, okay, I'm right here, I want my arms to be there. It's unlikely somebody's gonna go like this, just natural move, and then I say, okay, put, the, put whatever you're gonna put over here. So if you just stood there and said, I'm gonna put something on this table and put it on that table. Now, if it was heavy where you had to swing it, where you couldn't hold it out in front of you, you had kinda had to use the momentum of it your body is going to kind of move right along with it. So, if I get up here and I get set up correctly where my arms have room and I'm going, okay, here's the path I want my arms to swing on. It's unlikely once my arms start swinging on that path that my body is going to jump in the way of them, especially if you start out slow. So that's pretty much what I'm feeling. I'm feeling more what am I doing set up? How does my body have to move to allow my arms to swing on the right arc? So that my body doesn't, my body doesn't get in the way of what I'm trying to do with the club. So there's a lot of good players. Tiger, he said his hands control the face and his arms control his body. And people were like, what are you talking about? No, see the industry says it's all about your core. You turn back, you use this, and your arms and hands naturally just show up. Good luck with that one. Nicholas said he applies the club head to the ball. He swings to the top. He knows where his arms need to go. He lets his body do whatever he has to do to get it there. And then he places the club on the back of the ball. He applies the club head to the ball to get the correct angle of approach, direction, and curve. And he lets his body follow the club. Again, we got two pretty good players, had decent careers, one still having a pretty good career, and that's what they're thinking about. Might be worth you thinking about it too. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.